guys, how's it going? It's a height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Oxygen Not Included. And here we are. Oh, oh, oh I've done it. Here we are with our little automatic open door, closey, smashy, grindy machine. And as you can see, we're building up a bunch of regolith here. Eh, we gotta eventually get rid of it, but for now, I don't think it matters too much. So what I want to do today is start to work on the new research, which I'm not exactly sure where it is anymore. Clothing refashionator? Upgrade snazzy suits into primo garb. What in the heck is primo garb? Why can't I see this thing right now? What's, what, what's going on here? Why is it invisible? Okay, let's try that again. We'll put this down. It's gonna need power more than likely. This is not at all what I was supposed to be working on, but the classic, I'm gonna get distracted by stuff. All right, there we are. It seems like we've got some stressed people here. We might have to start wiping some stats. Why do I have water everywhere? What is happening? I don't even know what, what I don't even know what happened. Anyway, that should fix that. We want to make snazzy suits, which I think we make them here. Although I say that, and we might have a snazzy suit just laying around. We do! Okay, so perfect. We can wait till this gets built, which is only takes 200 kilograms of lead. I can turn a snazzy suit into whatever it was, primo garb. Yeah, primo garb. I don't know what this means. This transforms my duplicates into a colony inspiring fashion icon. While we're waiting for that, we have to finish what we started here. Research, research. Virtual planetarium conducts interstellar research, consumes data from telescopes, requires one data bank. Um, does this have to be outside? I am assuming it has to be outside, but I don't know that for sure. Um, you know, it doesn't say it has to be outside. So maybe we'll start with it inside and just see if it will work. I, I'm assuming it's not going to work, but we'll try it at least. All right, this thing is done. Let's take a look here. It doesn't look like it has to be outside. Transit tubes? Am I researching transit tubes right now? I think that's where we left it off in the last one. It is. Okay, and then we were going to start working on jetpacks. Wonderful. So well then once that's done, once the jetpacks are done, I don't even know what we need jetpacks for. Can I get some information from here? It doesn't seem that important, really. The jet suit? I'm not sure what it's... I was calling this a jetpack, but it might not be a jetpack. Oh no, right there it says jetpack. Okay, well, I don't know what the heck you need a jetpack for. I guess instead of ladders, but we're gonna have tubes. So, I don't know. Once we have tubes, I don't know. Anyway, once we have the transit tubes, I think we're gonna start doing rocketry. Rocketry contains passenger seating for duplicates. Okay, so this is basically how we make our rocket. Solid cargo, liquid gas cargo. Interesting. Okay, well, anyway, before we do any more of this stuff, 
we gotta let this finish we're almost there we need 12 more so let's just let that do its thing this is almost done we can start making some better clothing purple polyester snazzy red suit oh my god there's so many things we have 20 people, and I'm seeing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 different clothing. So we could basically give everyone, well, almost everyone their own type of, type of clothes. They basically have to share with one other person. So, I don't know. Snazzy red suit and reed fiber? Yeah, let's make one of those. In fact... Let's just make two of those. Two of those. Oh, crap. Two of these. Yeah, let's just make two of all these things. I mean, why not? All right, so there we go. We're making that. I'm only gonna be able to make one of them for now because I've only got one snazzy suit. But as soon as I equip that new clothing on a person, they should take the other suit off and we can just rinse and repeat 20 times. So there goes that. Now. Oh, right. I was making this because I got to really, really put nails in there or something awful is going to happen. So where did it go? OK, nails, where are you? There you are. Get in there. Go on, buddy. Here he comes. Time to de-learn everything. Sorry, buddy. You know what? I think something happened to my food when I started spoiling it because everybody's under now and I was being careful not to do that. But now every single person has negative. So I might have to start scrubbing all of the guys and girls for that matter just to uh, get rid of all this stress. I mean, look at everybody's getting stressed out gross all right he's done unrested too bright too bright wait where does nail sleep is the light coming through the floor all right we got transit tubes done oh we need jetpacks to get fuel oh so they're gonna have to do the jetpacks either way if we want to do solid fuel combustion. Which I think we're going to have to do steam. Wow, we can do steam power rockets. <laughs> that doesn't seem very good, but I mean, we can start with that for sure. OK, so now we have transit tubes unlocked. And I'm not a hundred percent sure I know the best way to use these things. I'm thinking... Oh, uh, I don't know. I'm thinking it's probably a good idea to put it, like, put one here. They can get in it, and then they can go all the way to the bottom really quickly. I'm... I'm thinking... I don't know. Transit tube crossing, transit tube. Okay, so that all makes sense. This is how they get in and out. And I don't really want to put one of these on every single floor. Because that seems excessive. But maybe just for like super long journeys. Maybe it makes sense. Like if I want a tube up here so that they can get to outer space and then if i want one way down at the bottom that's probably the best way to go maybe i need to dig out a little spot here for it we can put in a little room and then we gotta stick one of these things in here i'm not sure if these tubes oh they can't Okay, so they can't go over top of that, but it's fine because I made this three wide on accident. Which I'm not sure I can cr cross. Oh. So these things can fit 
like that. I'm not sure about all this. That'll connect into there, hopefully. And then does this just go down? How does this thing work? I don't know. Let's let them build that over time. It's going to take a while and then I'll see. I'm not sure how how these things actually connect together. Can they bend? Can these tubes bend? Very strange. I'm not sure that they can. Oh, there it goes. So why wasn't that working down here? I'm not I'm not sure what's going on here. <laughs> we might have to like I don't know where I'm supposed to connect to this, so I might have to go No, can't do a U-turn. I don't know. All right. So anyway, while that's happening, what I should do is extend this. We're going to need to extend this. And I don't believe I have. Well, I got enough to make three more of these. That's a start. All right, guys. So while we're waiting for that to happen, we've wiped a few guys and girls because we were getting super stressed. So it seems like things are finally starting to come back down again, which is nice. But what I want to work on now while I'm waiting for that and all of the stuff to get cleaned up, I've got queued up. I could just got stuff all over the place to get worked on, but my people are so stressed that I don't think they're really doing much. They're also, I think their commutes are way too long, so we might have to start actually looking at those tunnels. Because uh, it's kind of slow. Like, look at all this stuff outstanding. I mean, I've also got a lot of excavation and whatnot queued up. But while we're waiting for that to happen, I think I want to start making some new rooms to get our... Let's deconstruct this. To get our morale up. I think having more rooms helps with the morale. So let's come in here. How do I make a hospital? Quarantine sick duplicates. Oh, we can make a massage clinic? That might actually help rather than just having these tables out here like this. We can have an actual clinic for them. Okay, cool. So first things first, let's do a hospital. I'm thinking it's probably better to make several hospitals because we have 20 dupes. Oh my god, what is happening right now? Oh, they're killing things. Okay, Oof, that was... I am... I was worried for a second. So we have 20 dupes and I would like to have a table for a bunch of them. So maybe if I can manage to get 10 tables. I'm not sure all of the stuff that have to get put in here. So a toilet, a mess table, a toilet and a mess table. All right, guys. So I'm not sure exactly what each of these things do it seems like this is to generate healing the triage triage cot so when a dupe takes damage they have to rest here i guess to get health back then we've got the sick bay which allows duplicates to administer basic treatments to sick duplicates and then we've got this disease clinic allows duplicates to administer powerful treatments to sick duplicates now, I'm not sure. It sounds almost like this one is just a better version than this one, but I'm not sure if having them both is actually required. I I want to think that anything that the disease clinic, uh, anything that the sick bay can do, the disease clinic can do better. So there's no point double dipping. And obviously we need an apothecary to make medicine. So what I've done is I've got four healing slots here. Hopefully, if our dupes ever need healing, they can just lay down and heal. Then we've got these for disease, and I've got this to make medicine. And I think that should probably do it. If I just make one more of these rooms, 
I'm hoping that that will be enough. I've also gone ahead and plumbed the sink and the washroom into our little water thingy mabob here. So that's going to start working. And we've got some tables, the mess table, because that is a requirement for the hospital for some reason. It didn't say how many, so I just stuck one in there. Where are my rooms? Hospital. Medical equipment, check. Toilet, check. Mess table, check. No industrial machinery, check. Minimum size 12, maximum size 96. I believe both of these rooms, well, I guess it will tell me. 92. Yep. And this one? Uh, infinite, because the wall's not done yet. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I think it's going to be fine. So I'm just going to speed things up here and see how this works. All right. So now all we need is a little bit of power. And by a little bit, I mean actually quite a bit of power. Hopefully. Oh my God. Potential load. 9,000. Um, we might want to bring this power over instead. Let's cancel that. That is, uh, that's getting to be a little bit much, I think. So let's put this across here. Stick that in there and do something like that. I think that's going to work out better for us. So we've got one hospital done. I'm just going to copy the layout. I think the layout is actually good. I'm going to just copy that layout to the other side. And we're going to call it good there for now. Unless you guys drop me some comments and it turns out I screwed up everything. We're going to leave it as is. So now we have washrooms. Yes, we've got... We don't have barracks. We have bedrooms. We have a great hall. Yes, we have a great hall. We don't have a massage clinic yet, so maybe it's time to get one of those going. How much room does this take up? 64 tile maximum. Okay, so let's get one of those going. Uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen. 16. I believe that's the maximum size it can be unless I screwed up my counting, but we're gonna just go with it for now. Also, I believe it makes the most sense to keep these doors uh, open so that our dupes don't have to open and close them. I don't think there's any reason to have the doors closed. So we're going to leave them open for now. I think that room will still count. I I've done that down here and all of these rooms are still counting. So I think that's fine. Okay, so we got all that laid out. I think what I'm going to do is get some flowers for this one. How is this a single plant? Plus 10 decor. With a radius of 4? Wait, radius of 4? So it should reach to here. One, two, three, four. Is that okay? I'm not going to quite reach if I do that. Maybe if I just stick two in there equally. These things take diamonds, so it's kind of expensive. But this is supposed to be a relaxing environment, so maybe we'll, we'll let them kind of binge a little bit. Hey, look, our clothes are done. Okay, so we can give this to Catalina. I don't know where she put her other clothes. Uh, did, did she leave them somewhere? I'm not sure exactly what happened. Maybe they have to wear two sets of clothing there. I honestly don't know what just happened. Atmos suits. I just realized we're missing some suits over here. We're going to need four more. Oh, we've got a bunch here. Ah, uh, I forgot we have to actually click these and say deliver or they won't get delivered. Okay, there we go. So those should be going in there shortly. We have to pick some plants for these. I'm not sure which ones are the best. 
some joya seeds. Atmosphere. This plant must be okay. Requires. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Let's just put a little bit of everything. Okay, there we go. We got a massage clinic. We've got two hospitals. Power plant. Enable power control station. Uh, that might be a problem because I just saw it says 96 maximum and... I think this room is quite a bit bigger than 96. Um, I guess we could... Oh, I can't even put a door in there. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm not sure exactly how this will work, but it's probably just not going to work right now. Crops grown within a greenhouse can be tended with farm station fertilizer to increase their growth speed. I don't know if we need a greenhouse. Enables farm station use. Yeah, see, I don't think we need that. What we want is the ones that say moral bonus. Stable, fine, recreation room. Moral bonus. A park. We should make a park. And a nature reserve. Four wild plants? Uh-oh. I don't know if I even have any wild plants anymore. You know what, though? Hey, I think these guys plant plants. Don't they? They are known to bury seeds. Okay, so... Can I build... I can't really build a dirt floor, can I? Uh, I can build carpet, though. Hey! Should we put carpet in the bedrooms? I think it seems like a good idea. And honestly, we have so much plastic. I'm kind of tempted to start putting plastic floors down. Plastic... Floors give plus 10 decor. What else gives decor? I don't really want to use metal. I think plastic is probably the way to go. Okay, so I don't think we're going to be able to make a park or a nature reserve because I don't have wild plants. And I'm not sure exactly... Uh, we might be able to salvage some kind of area like this. Maybe I should stop digging up here for future. Maybe this can be our nature reserve. It's the only place I still have plants. Okay, so we'll leave that for now. What else is there? Oh, we have a prize or present. Dirt? Well, may as well take it. It's the best thing that we've got going for us right now. Okay, so the only other thing... Hey, what are you doing over there? Get out of... The... How did you even get over there? It's unacceptable. Okay, so since we can't do that, what we could do is make a recreation room. That gives morale bonus. Uh, where do I want to put it, though? That is a good question. We could make a few... We can make a, a few recreation rooms. How is the decor doing? It's actually doing well here. This room needs some help. The bedrooms are doing great. The kitchen's doing pretty good. I've got some statues in here, but they're not quite doing enough. These little plants are actually helping. And I mean, obviously this area is just disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. I wonder if... You know, that's probably making my people pretty upset. I wonder if it's worth putting some statues in there. Where is that stuff? Furniture. What do we got? Marble rock. Plus 20 decor. What else do we got? Ice block is probably not good. 
marble looks like as good as it gets. So we can stick some of these in here. Can they actually overhang like that? I don't know about about that. That might not really work, but we can sure try. Okay, we're going to start plunking down a bunch of this stuff. Hopefully this makes our people a little bit more happy. Okay, we got all those put down. What else I want to work on, actually? I hadn't done this yet for some reason. I, th I thought we did, but I guess I didn't. I want to put light bulbs over top of all my research buildings because well and actually all of these things as well because it should make them work faster unoccupied space okay well whatever there's that i don't know if this thing can actually work faster probably not but we can set it up i don't where's my other oh there it is a little research thing. Okay, and then we got to obviously get automation set up to each one of those. Alright, here comes one of our statues. I'm kind of excited to see how this affects the decor. Almost there. Almost there. Let's see what it does. It doesn't really do anything. Oof. Minus 260. Yeah, I mean... Hoo-wee! That is not pleasant. That is not pleasant at all. What else can we do in this area? Is there... I think there's like pictures, paintings. Can we... S Ooh, those are big. Is there smaller ones? Mm, not really um a metal block plus 20 decor oh we can squeeze those in these one spots it might be worth it uh we actually don't have too many of those spots <laughs> there's a little one there yeah it's not it's not really the best we'll stick one in there as well why not huh how are we going to deal with all this decor problem? Can we... Is there a painting that will fit... Plus 10% decor? Okay, these ones do 15, but I can't put them behind stuff. Oh, but I can put them over stuff. Hey! That's pretty good. Oh, hey, look at that. Purple polyester. There we go. So they are finding the clothes. Slowly. I don't know. They're finding them, but they're not finding them very fast. But it'll work for now. Now, can I squeeze another picture in there? I don't think so. Oh, I can. Oh, this is the best. Can I squeeze any more pictures in? I don't think so, man. This is getting pretty squishy. All right. Well, anyway, this spot here, hopefully we can get the decor issue resolved. I, I doubt this is going to actually be enough. How much... How far do these actually reach? Radius of eight tiles. So I could actually put two of these things side by side. And they should still affect it. That's actually not bad. Okay, I think I've got this stuff laid out in such a way that it should start to help with the decor penalty I'm having. Oh, I don't want any of those guys. Goodbye. So it's going to take a while because <laughs> they're they got to build a lot of stuff. But, you know, it's uh, hopefully going to be something when it's done. Now, I'm not sure if this is actually a good idea or not. But as you can see, some of the areas are actually starting to turn green. 
So I'm hoping with the amount of stuff, I'm also putting plastic, plastic in here because plastic also has a decor bonus. Oh. One tile radius. It might not even be better. Five. Oh, but it makes you run faster. So it's a little bit of a hit to decor, but it makes you run faster. So maybe it's still worth changing the plastic. I forgot about that. I knew there was something good about plastic. I just couldn't remember what it was. But the increased move speed seems pretty good. So anyway, let me just get all this stuff queued for cleaning up here. And how is my research pro progress coming along? Are we... Are we doing things? We're not. It can be conducted at a virtual planetarium. Now, why is that not working? Data bank times 10. You know what? You know what's going on? We're not getting any research. We need some research. Oily asteroid? Analysis complete. Let's see how far we can go. Let's start doing this one. Whoop. Did I pause it on accident? I think I might have. Nope. We're good. Okay, so now I'll... I should set this to be high. I did already. Perfect. So that should start generating some more research points, I think. I'm not sure where these research points go. They should be coming out somewhere unless... Maybe we haven't actually got any yet. Maybe they don't come until later on. Oh, that could be it. Oh, or I was just going to say, or maybe we get them from exploring space. But we can't. Can we explore space already? I mean, I guess we can with steam engines. Interstellar research is required to unlock space technologies. Now, is that something I need to go to space for? Consumes data from telescopes. I don't know. How do I get data? Huh. Anyway. Guys, if you know what the heck's going on there, drop me a comment below. Let me know. Other than that, I hope this was a good idea. <laughs> I'm kind of regretting it now. It might be a huge mess, but this decor penalty is massive. It's so massive. Minus 200. Oh my god. I... I don't know if all of this stuff that I've done is even going to get this to be positive. But at least if we can reduce the amount of negative, it might help. I, You know, rather than being minus 200, if it's only like minus 12 or 30, that's got to be better, right? I'm not even 100% sure how the decor works in this game. I know the dupes get a little bit angry if it's bad but i don't know is it the amount of time they spend here versus the amount of time they spend elsewhere is it like a weighted average i'm not sure how all that works okay that one's done and obviously it doesn't change much yeah it's not changing much i mean we're down to 168 in the negative which is Oh, one of these spots had 130. Oh, I forgot when there's a dupe. When there's a dupe in it. It, the dupe itself has a positive decor bonus. Oh, so really, if we can get this down to like minus 40, the dupes might just take it up to zero whenever they're in it. Could be interesting. Let's assign that to a new dupe. Perfect. Oh, man. I don't know. This is going to be something. I'm not 100% sold on this idea, but it's too late now. We're doing it. <laughs> okay, guys. So, you know what? I think I'm going to let this run out. We're going to 
finish building all these sculptures and stuff and maybe i'm gonna just do a little bit more of this sky research i should have been doing it as i was playing but i totally forgot about it i totally forgot that this was a thing we had to do so hopefully we can find some of this stupid telescope research stuff that we actually need to be able to put in our planetarium i don't know how we're gonna find that stuff but i mean i guess if we have to we can make a rocket if if we gotta do it we gotta do it am i right how much steel do i have can we make some more bunkers oh yeah we can make some more bunkers we can make some more bunkers And we may as well put down some more doors while we're at it. Awesome. Oh, that is perfect. That is absolutely perfect automation. Let's make sure all those are connected or they're not going to work. And I think we actually need power to those as well. Dang. That's a lot of power. That is a lot of power. That might be a mistake. But no going back now. Yeah, look at that. 9,000 power required. That might be a problem. But I guess if it becomes a problem, the meteors are just going to break our base and we can start over again. Yay. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you like and you're liking this series so far. If you are, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. It lets me know that you want to see some more of this awesome game. I'm having a blast with it. We're, I, I feel like we're getting close to done, maybe. Once you get to space, I'm not sure what kind of content there is to do. I mean, I'm sure we could, there's a lot we could do with this base. I mean, we've got lots of room to build, but I don't know. Maybe it's time to start playing a new series here pretty soon. If you have any suggestions, by the way, drop me a comment below. Let me know. Let me know what you're thinking. But yeah, guys, other than that, we're going to end this series. Or not this series. This episode right there. I hope you liked it. And I'll see you next time.